Carl Linnaeus was born on May 23, 1707. He was a Swedish scientist who laid the foundations of modern taxonomy the science of identifying, naming and classifying organisms. The great Swedish biologist Carl von Linn was born in a small village. He comes from a family of farmers and priests. His passion for nature was evident from his childhood. In those days, it was usual for a man who studied to become a clergyman to exchange his surname for something more refined. The new one could be the name of his village or home farm but in a Latin form. So when Linnea's father set out to study theology he took the name of the linden tree which grew on the family farm, but in its Swedish form Lin Lin. When Carl enrolled at Lund University, he chose the Latin form of his name, Linnaeus, Linnaeus, and became Carolus Linnaeus. That was common practice for students in Europe. In Sweden Carl von Linn, his name was a nobleman, is generally used. He was popular with his interesting lectures he constantly asked his students to bring various specimens to us study and describe but he gained in popularity mostly with his nature trips. The story goes that on one such a trip, he met a donkey. It bared its teeth at him, and he said if I knew how many teeth every single species has I could sort them out into groups. He discovered over a hundred species of plants unknown to science, collected samples of minerals, observed and described birds. In 1732 Linnaeus was awarded funding for a long planned journey to Lapland. In the harsh northern land he traveled about 2,000 kilometers. In 1735, with the support of various scientists who estimate highly his ideas, Carl Linnaeus published the famous pamphlet Systema Naturae, one of his major works. It contains 12 pages. It was the first edition of his classification of lithiforms. Carl Linnaeus was one of the first to describe, arrange and give scientific names of the living things. He grouped known species in three kingdoms. The system, this is Ariadne's thread and botany, without it everything becomes chaos, wrote Carl Linnaeus. Animals, for instance, he represented on two pages in six columns, each one named after one of Linnaeus' classes. Besides these six classes Linnaeus set off half a column for the so-called paradoxes which included mythical animals like the unicorn, the griffin, the phoenix the dragon, etc. The classification system of Linnaeus of animal and plant kingdom is still used today. Grouping is made up of units called taxon. The grouping of organisms is based on these common features and differences. Each subsequent taxon of species has a larger volume than the previous one. Carl Linnaeus designed a system of naming organisms, called binomial, which gave each one two names genus and species. For example, mountain lion, cougar and puma are all common names for the same animal. The name you decide to use probably depends on where you live. Carl Linnaeus was the first person to place humans in the primate family and to describe bats as mammals rather than birds. Simple classification according to science phylum chordata subtype cranial, class mammalia, order primata suborder higher monkeys fomii hominide, Genus Homo species Homo sapiens. He was one of the first to describe relationships between living things and their environments. If a tree dies, plant another in its place sat careless. Not only is Linnaeus considered the father of taxonomy, he was also a pioneer in the study of ecology. Today living organisms on Earth are about 2.5 million in five kingdoms. The system of Linnaeus was developed and complemented by modern systematics today living organisms on Earth.